What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Fusion quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to import an image into Fusion 360 and also how to calibrate and move that image so that it's sized properly so that you can use it to model on top of. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the things you're going to do a lot of when modeling things inside of uh, Autodesk Fusion 360 is you're going to bring in images and you're going to use them as a basis for which to create a model. Well, one of the things that's going to be really important when you do that is you need to be able to set those images to scale. So in order to do that, we're going to go inside of Fusion 360 um, under the insert button. And with the insert button, you can find an image. So in this case, I'm going to pick the button for insert from my computer because this lives on my PC. And then we're just gonna find an image and bring it in. So in this situation, I've got an old picture of a railroad track that I'm gonna bring in. So I'm just gonna double click on that and it's gonna ask what face we wanna place this on. Well, I wanna model this so that it's standing up. So I'm just gonna click right here on this face. And so when you initially bring this in, there's a lot of different options in here. You can adjust the opacity of the image. So how see-through it is and some other things as well. You can also flip it horizontally or vertically. I find that I use that a lot. You can also scale this up or down and also move it around when you first bring it in. So if you want to, you can start by placing this um, so that it aligns with the origin point or you can do that later. So I usually like to scale these up a bit just so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm also gonna flip it horizontally so the words are going the right direction, but I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So now we've brought this in, but the problem is if we were to measure this, so if we were to measure or draw a line, like a sketch along this face, so if I was to draw a line from here to here, um, it's supposed to be three inches. In this situation, this is 19 millimeters, which is not three inches. And so what we wanna do is we wanna set this distance. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my active units to inches for this drawing. So we can just go into our document settings right here and then uh, click on the button for change active units. And so when we do that, we can change our active units to inches for this particular drawing. And so now if I was to draw a line in here, you can see how this would actually be in here showing me inches, but our drawing still isn't sized properly. So what we wanna do is we're gonna click the little drop down here for canvases, and our image is going to show up in the list of canvases that's in here. And we're just gonna right click on this, and you can see there's an option in here for Calibrate. So what Calibrate does is Calibrate allows you to select two points by clicking. So in this situation, we'll click right on the tip of this arrow here, and right on the tip of this arrow here, and then you can type in a value. So in this situation, I'm gonna type in a value of three and hit the enter key. You can see how when I did this, this drawing immediately got a lot larger. Well now, if I was to come in here and I was to draw a line along his face, you can see how my length is right at 3.001 inches. So we're right at three inches. So now this drawing is in here to scale. So this is now a scaled drawing that you can use in order to create a scaled 3D model. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you is if you want to move this around. So let's say for example, we wanted this center point right here to be on the origin. Well, what we can do is we can just right click on this and then we can click on edit canvas so when we click on edit canvas, that brings up the move function and we can move this around. So then I can use this tool in order to fine adjust this so that it's centered right on my origin. So now when I model, I can use the origin as a starting point. So you can see how by doing this, this gets really easy to place this um, inside of your models. And then once you're done, just click okay and you can start modeling. So you can create a sketch, and draw it along this vertical axis. You can kind of do whatever you want with that at that point. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Are there other things you have questions about in Fusion 360? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.